A modern history, the Gulf War, also known as the First Gulf War, was a conflict that took place between August 1990 and February 1991. It was fought between Iraq and a coalition of 35 countries, led by the United States. The war was sparked by Iraq's invasion of Kuwait on August 2, 1990. The build-up to the war began in the 1980s, when Iraq was at war with Iran. The war lasted for eight years and left Iraq with a large debt. In addition, Iraq felt that Kuwait was stealing its oil by drilling into Iraqi territory. Iraq also claimed that Kuwait was a part of Iraq and that it had been separated from Iraq by the British in the early 20th century. On August 2, 1990, Iraq invaded Kuwait. The United Nations Security Council immediately condemned the invasion and called for Iraq to withdraw its troops. The United States, under President George H.W. Bush, began to build a coalition of countries to support the UN's call for Iraq to withdraw. The coalition was made up of countries from around the world, including the United Kingdom, France, Saudi Arabia and Egypt. The coalition forces began to deploy to the region, with the United States sending over 500,000 troops. The United States also began to build up its military presence in the region. The U.S. Navy sent ships to the Persian Gulf and the U.S. Air Force began to deploy aircraft to bases in Saudi Arabia and other countries in the region. The build-up of forces continued throughout the fall of 1990. The United States and its allies began to conduct military exercises in the region and the coalition forces began to establish a defensive perimeter around Saudi Arabia. On November 29, 1990, the United Nations Security Council passed Resolution 678, which authorized the use of force to remove Iraq from Kuwait if Iraq did not withdraw by January 15, 1991. The deadline passed without Iraq withdrawing from Kuwait, and on January 16, 1991, the coalition forces began a massive air campaign against Iraq. The air campaign, known as Operation Desert Storm, lasted for 42 days and involved over 100,000 sorties. The air campaign was followed by a ground invasion of Kuwait and Iraq. The coalition forces quickly pushed Iraqi forces out of Kuwait and began to advance into Iraq. The war ended on February 28, 1991, with Iraq agreeing to a ceasefire. The Gulf War was characterized by a combination of air and ground operations, with the coalition forces employing advanced military tactics and technology to achieve their objective. The air campaign, Operation Desert Storm, was a crucial component of the war. It aimed to degrade Iraq's military capabilities and infrastructure while minimizing civilian casualties. The coalition forces launched a relentless aerial bombardment targeting key military installations, communication networks and strategic sites. Precision guided munitions such as laser guided bombs and cruise missiles were extensively used to minimize collateral damage. The coalition forces also employed stealth aircraft like the F-117 Nighthawk to carry out high-risk missions deep inside enemy territory. The air campaign effectively crippled Iraq's air defenses and command structures, giving the coalition forces air superiority. This allowed for the safe conduct of ground operations and the protection of coalition troops. On the ground, the coalition forces launched a massive ground offensive to liberate Kuwait and push Iraqi forces out of the country. The ground campaign, known as Operation Desert Sabre, involved a combination of armored units, infantry, and special forces. The coalition forces employed a strategy of overwhelming force, utilizing their superior firepower and mobility to swiftly advance through Iraqi defenses. They employed a combination of tanks, artillery, and infantry to engage and neutralize Iraqi forces. The ground offensive was supported by extensive logistical operations ensuring a constant supply of troops, equipment, and provisions. 
The coalition forces also made use of advanced reconnaissance and surveillance technologies to gather intelligence and maintain situational awareness. As the coalition forces advanced, they encountered fierce resistance from Iraqi troops, particularly during the Battle of Kafji. However, the coalition's superior training, equipment and coordination allowed them to overcome these challenges and continue their advance. The war witnessed several notable military engagements, such as the Battle of 73 Easting, where Uz armored units decisively defeated Iraqi forces. These engagements showcased the effectiveness of coalition tactics and the technological superiority of their equipment. Throughout the war, the coalition forces made efforts to minimize civilian casualties and damage to infrastructure. However, there were instances of collateral damage, particularly during the air campaign. The coalition forces also faced criticism for the use of depleted uranium munitions, which raised concerns about long-term health and environmental effects. Despite these challenges, the coalition forces achieved their objectives. By the end of the ground offensive, Iraqi forces were expelled from Kuwait and the country was liberated. The war demonstrated the effectiveness of multinational coalitions and showcased the capabilities of modern military technology.